Okay. All right, family. This is uh, where I'm at. I finally braided up all this hair. Uh, as you can tell, <laughs> this is uh, a lot for me to do by myself, but it's okay. I enjoy doing it. I'm glad that I am doing it to grow my hair. Um, I just want to show you the shedding that uh, did come out. Look, this didn't get caught. My hair does what it wants to do. The shedding that did come out while I did my hair, uh, combing it out and putting it in these braids. Um, and remember, this is a result over a week. Um, over a week of me not combing my hair. It was just in the curls, as you've seen previously in the previous video. So here we go. This is in the face bow. And when I comb my hair, this is pretty much where it falls on the face, hopefully more in the face face bowl uh, than on the floor. It is what it is, you know. I got a trash can here, I got the face bowl here, and this is what my hair does. Okay, so what I'm going to do now, because I did have, see a few flakes. Um, uh, yeah, you see those flakes there. So I kind of like to scratch these up. See, now I'm holding this with one hand and I'm right-handed, so I got to do it like this just so we can see. I like to try to scratch it up as much as possible. Okay, but what I'm going to do is I use vinegar. This is my vinegar and water solution. Uh, it does have... Um, some herbs in it, so that's what's floating around. I'm going to use this all up because I'm going to pour this out, but the vinegar is still good. So you're going to see me do the spray of the vinegar process. So I just want to do this just to combat the dry scalp issue, or not even dry scalp. It's really flaky scalp for me, but I guess people with a lot of hair like me gets it. So this is a beautiful bottle. I got this bottle for a dollar at the 99 cent store and of course I did rack up. Now the only thing about using this vinegar is when your hair is not open like it's in braids so you just spray it on the scalp and you kind of rub it in and you just let it sit maybe a minute. And I like to get this. And see this happens for me when uh, I don't wash my hair in a week or so, then it uh, start getting flaky like this. So what I like to do is try to keep my hair washed every week. And yes, vinegar do burn. Don't let it touch your eyes. And I always like to get the edges because, you know, the edges <laughs> always flake up the most. As you can tell. Or see, I am hot. It's quite, quite hot. That's my little three-year-old niece having fun in the background. So you do hear her uh, trying to adjust it. So this is vinegar falling all over me. Oh, yeah, I did put this uh, top on because <laughs> it was hot. I was in here sweating real hard. So here we go. You're just going to see me tackle this down. And this kind of helps the hair absorb you know when you do it it cleanses the scalp really is what I'm after and this is how I have to do it for me there we go just get all up in there and them roots I'm more concerned about the roots than the ends now when I do the shampoo bar wash I will be doing the ends so I'm going to come back, I'm going to wet my hair, and you'll see me back with the shampoo bar. And I will be demonstrating the shampoo bar. So I'll be rinsing all the vinegar out and getting my hair saturated, nice and wet. Okay. Okay, I'm getting the hair up also, and this is about how much of the hair it is. That's not, I don't think that's quite a lot. Not for me. And plus there is some on the floor and some in the trash can, but... For a person like me with as much hair as I have, this is not a lot. And remember, these are strains that are quite long, balled up. So, this is, uh, you know, after a week of not really combing it or anything, just finger combing it here and there. Um, this is pretty average and normal and pretty probably pretty good. 
So, um, like I said, I'll come back after uh, wetting my hair. Okay, I just got done wetting my hair, saturating. I did start it in the front because it was so wet. So this is the so shampoo bar. So as you see, I started in the front. So it's, it's, it suds up really easy. So you just want to rub it there. Rub it on the scalp like this. Rub it really good in the on all your scalp. Whew. So this is how I do it. Or you could even whew, suds it up in your hand like this and just go like this. But it creates a nice suds and it's that vinegar still in there. It's got my eye burning a little bit. Okay. So this is how you want to get it. I really need to get the back. Scrub it. Really good. Put this up here. It's dripping. Okay. Hopefully, eventually I'll get a better video. Because I'm using my Samsung tablet. Yeah, that's vinegar. As you see, I got it all nice and bubbling and this is what we want let me show you the back and this is how you want to shampoo it with the shampoo bar so you want to do this at least twice so you add the water and this is a very luxurious suds very luxurious I don't know. When I do my hair, I got to have bubbles. I got to scrub. I have to wash. I have to wash my hair. I see some people on YouTube channels, and they call themselves washing. I'm like, where are the bubbles, okay? Where are the bubbles? Show me some bubbles. Bubbles is a sign of cleanliness. So I'm going to pause and I'm going to be rinsing this out and come back and show you how much more even more it bubbles because this is the first wash I always wash it twice all right okay so this is the second wash my eyes are not burning anymore because uh, I rinsed all the vinegar out hopefully and it suds the soap did take care of that so here we go we're going to show you another demonstration that's the part this is the soap you just want to rub it on there and it's going to bubble and lather up, starting at the edges like this. Yeah, see, it's going to bubble, bubble, bubble even bubble. more. Say bubble, baby. We like the bubble. bubble. I bubble. Say I bubble. Bubbles. And I still have it in my hand like this, and I'm just oh, working it along the parts in the back and on the edges of your hair, the sides, like that. You want to get all up in there. See, that's that baby hair. I'm going to make a video on baby hair. These people talking about they got baby hair. They don't know what baby hair is. This is some baby hair. So, anyway, as you see, this is the sus that this little bar that I made, and it's not gone. But, I like to work the sus from the root, from the rooter to the tutor. And, this is a beautiful shampoo. So, this is a beautiful Beautiful shampoo. Look at that. That's just sus from that. Shampoo can't even do this. Liquid shampoo can't do what this bar does. You cannot get enough of this. This will have you singing. This is what you call soap porn. And you, you want to bring the sus through the ends. But you're not trying to put the soap on the ends. Even when you use liquid shampoo, you don't want to put the soap on the ends because the ends already processed or done or the oldest part of your hair the deadest part of your hair so you concentrating on the roots the live part and the scalp not just the roots your scalp because this is what you're cleaning 
This is what needs the cleaning action. Hello? The cleaning action. Let me see. Let's get all that up in there. See? This is how you scrub your scalp. This is the second wash, and I won't be doing any more washing. So, they, you, they say use the pads of your nail, your fingertips. Me, I'm using nails because I got the scratch and scrub. Because, like I said, I got to get the dead skin up, or it's just not a wash. It's a fake wash. Some people down with the fake. I ain't down with the fake. Don't let me get to drinking my beer. And get to talking on people because I that's that's gonna be my next videos. Sister girl gonna tell you how she came out of East St. Louis to California. And I'd rather deal with East St. Louis any day, deal with the real or the real people than to come here and deal with all this fake Hollywood stuff out here. It's Hollywood. Yeah, California, so Hollywood. Hmm, they super Hollywood. They win an Oscar just for even being in California. So yeah, you wanna keep that suds action going. Like you said, after, like I said, after the first wash, you're just getting that second wash, and this is just gonna clarify it, just get it up. But you're talking about some shiny hair, as you can see, my hair is quite, quite long, and we just wanna get it scrubbed clean. This feels so good. I haven't done this in quite a while, this bar, so I'm gonna be using this more often. So, I'm going to pause and rinse it out. Okay. Alright, so, whew, I uh, just did the second wash and rinsed it out. My hair feels really good. It don't even feel squeaky or anything. Um, it is clean. These are the braids. So, this is how I have to control my hair when I wash. I'm so proud of my hair because it has really, really, really grown and it's just taken off. So, um, I just want you to see the texture of it. This is my scalp, you know, the front. This is the baby hair. And then, as you can see, this is the texture of it when it's wet. It's different when it's dry for pretty much mostly most people. It's quite thick, but it's very clean and it just feels so conditioned and so moist and so nice. And I'm just so happy and... Basically, this is the part two video. It's like almost 13 minutes, so I'm going to be cutting it short because I don't want this to be too long. I might put some more vinegar on it. I might not because it just feels good, and I really don't want it to because I did put vinegar on it in the beginning. But for other people, you can use a vinegar rinse afterward or even before like I did. That was just a demonstration. But I'm just so happy because I got it washed. I got it clean. Yes. All right, so I'm going to in this and you'll probably see it afterwards but there is such a shine to it even now that it's wet and clean and oh this is what I want to show you, you want to use some coconut oil or even um, argan oil is the best this is the bomb and you just put a dab in your hand and you put it through your hair uh, me this is going to be a process as I got to untangle it Again, you see the roots. That's how long it's been since I've had a relaxer. And I'm not going to be doing relaxers too much any longer. Uh, I'm, I'm doing kind of like a text lex. And I'll probably make a video showing that. So, uh, anyway, this is my hair. Thank you, God, for the beautiful hair. You know, you have to thank God for your hair. You want your hair to grow? Thank God for your hair. Just start saying, thank you, God, for the hair on my head. Thank you, God, blessing me from the roots of my hair to the soles of my feet. And um, God bless you. Subscribe, Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, um, Tumblr. Get in there. Get it. Because I'm going to be handing out some of these shampoo bars because I want the word to get out. I don't want you to miss out on a luxurious product that can help you that I have. I want to share it. I want to share it with the world. And you deserve it. God bless.